to America's busiest car shipping port. He's trying to find stolen vehicles before they vanish. It's just after 4 a.m. in Bethesda. More than a dozen high-end Mercedes sit on the showroom floor. It doesn't take thieves even 30 seconds to break through the front door. Surveillance video captures their nerve and precision, watching them maneuver and speed four cars out of the showroom. Their biggest prize, a $200,000 Mercedes G-Wagon. Your first emotion is anger and frustration. Jim Willard's brand new cars are gone in under 15 minutes. They join the other 55,000 cars burglarized in Montgomery County streets, driveways, parking lots, and car dealerships all in the last three years. Willard has a hunch where they're headed. Port of Baltimore, from my understanding, is one of the hottest beds of stolen vehicles leaving the country. Customs and border agents gave the 7 News I team exclusive access to America's busiest auto port. We did just pop this one container earlier today. It's got the three. one down here? Yes, sir. The inspections done on this dock are agents' last chance to catch stolen property before it leaves American shores. Minutes after we stepped onto the dock, we see a $125,000 Cadillac Escalade pulled from its shipping container by a forklift. This is the only way to move a stolen vehicle without its keys. This vehicle has no keys. We're Correct. going to West Africa. Correct. Brand new 2022 Cadillac Escalade. There's more than cars inside these shipping containers. Customs agents painstakingly sift through all sorts of items, from electronics to hair dryers to a paper cutting board. You never know what you're going to see. It's the only way to get to the VIN number on the dashboard and confirm a car is stolen. No room is wasted. Why ship two cars when propping one up on a homemade wooden lift lets you fit three? 800 plus thousand cars come through here. Yep. How many of them can you check? Uh, we can check it. As, as many as we have to to try to disrupt these uh, transnational criminal organizations. But Baltimore's port director told us his 100 customs agents don't always open every container. He says they do check container manifests and look for an excuse to look inside. When they say they're, they're, they're sending out a, uh, a Honda Accord and we x-ray it and then we see a pickup truck. Obviously, red flag for us. During our interview, one of those red flags turned into a gold mine. This container's manifest says inside is one car bound for West Africa. How many are in there? So there's three three brand new Mercedes in there with the approximate value of that container. It's 400000 Inside, we found two of the Mercedes stolen off the Bethesda dealer's showroom floor. The thieves didn't bother to take off the dealer plates. It took a few weeks, but after clearing customs, we were back in Bethesda to watch the stolen car's homecoming. I, I couldn't believe it, because I figured, like I said, these were long gone. So, uh, really happy you truly back. are the, uh, the man with this. <laughs>